Well, um, progress is the word that I have in my head when I'm here at Säve Airport outside Gothenburg, just north of Gothenburg. And um, today we have the luxury to have a little private show, private tour of the Hart Aerospace ES-30, the X-1 as the first aircraft is called. And I'm just outside the hangar here and if I turn around you will see the hangar and you will see the aircraft. And um, I'm going to go in there so uh, I hope you can join me to have a look. Well actually let's go in together have a look a sneak peek review of this fantastic aircraft first of its kind and as you can see it's a beauty with uh, two turboprop engines and two electrical engines it's a hybrid and uh, you well you can read all about it on their website but uh, this is the first generation of the next generation aviation i would say so uh, join me as I walk a bit closer. So I thought we would just walk around the aircraft and, and have a quick look. Uh, we will go inside as well, of course. Um, but as you can see, it's pretty standard um, doors and uh, you know what passengers will see. But of course, this aircraft is filled, filled with novelties and new thinking. And, uh, First of all, it's a full composite aircraft. So what we see here is composite. And uh, it's going to be an aircraft which uh, can carry 30 passengers, uh, full electric, 200 kilometers, and in a hybrid configuration, about 400 kilometers. And if you offload, I think five passengers, it would fly 800 kilometers, including reserves. Uh, we will have a bit closer look over there because behind that cupboard in the aircraft is the charging port with megawatt charging and uh, Otherwise as you can see, it's a very sleek nice wing configuration Pretty long and has aerodynamics out of this world as I've heard so reducing drag and uh, Improving the performance So here it is the ES 30 the X1 as it is called now, start. Och vi tänker att det här är ju rätt system för flyg, men det är fortfarande lite battle i flygbranschen, vilket system som är vinnande. Men för större flygplan så är det måste gå upp till minst de här nivåerna, kanske lite mer. And we're just getting a private show here, a private tour of the ES-30 or X-1 as this uh, first model is called and we just had a very interesting tour around the aircraft uh, looking at charging systems and uh, the technical solutions that they have and uh, right now we're gonna go inside and have a look also uh, at the aircraft from the inside so as you can see <clears throat> it's a kind of standard stair to um, enter the aircraft and uh, well join me as I step into the future because this is part of aviation's future. Oh, so <clears throat> sitting down here at uh, in the cabin, and I must say. It's very, very decent pitch for uh, a flight. And um, well, I think that I can say that the cabin, if this will be the final uh, feel and look and size of it, uh, is extremely comfortable. And uh, well, you can see for yourself, it's uh, quite uh, good spacing also in the aisle. And if we turn the camera around, we will see a bit how it will look towards the front. Pretty uh, nice setting, I would say. And uh, the windows are, well, normal size for, I think, these kind of sized aircrafts. But where is the button for the juice? Uh, not here. Well, maybe there will be a charging output here also for your phone. Might be a good idea.
Ja, gud, det är en stor del. Ja. Det är ju, både när planet finns, mm. det är ett stort steg. Ja. Och när planet flyger, då är det verkligen. Precis, det är, det är då det börjar liksom, det, du får sån jäkla spridning på, alltså det har ju varit otroligt bra spridning nu sen det har ju mm. fått upp det. Och som sagt, när det väl är i luften, då blir det också, det är ju en extrem maj som. Ja, exakt. So we're in the cockpit of the ES30 X1, and uh, this is how it looks like. I just enter the waypoint to my home field, Sumru Airfield outside Uppsala. Uh, so that's actually what we have in the navigation system right now. But uh, I think we'll refrain from flying there. It's a grass field, about 600 meters, so we need a bit longer. <laughs> so here's my co-pilot. Oscar. Good day, sir. Good day. Very nice setup. So this is um, how the cockpit of the ES30 more or less will look like. And this is the middle console. And I think most pilots will recognize that all the things that you need is there. Right on. Det är en kommer, det är en kommer.